pleasure to be real, proper real. It has to be eternal. It doesn't have to be just a weekend pleasure. Oh, that weekend was so fun in Glasgow. The Celtics and Rangers match was so good though. Oh, that league and all. No, it, it hasn't to be a thing in the past. And it has to be real. It has to be forever. The consequence of that pleasure should lead us to further pleasure, not headache. The consequence, the after effect of any pleasure, if it is genuine, real, it should lead us to even more pleasure. And this is what the teachings of Mahaprabhu is. Anandam buddhi vardhanam. Right. Mahaprabhu left us with eight verses of Sishtashtakam. And he's telling us, if we engage in the Sankirtan movement of Mahaprabhu, in the Harinam Sankirtan Yajna of Mahaprabhu, when we chant the holy names of Krishna, the more we chant, the more relish we'll get. That is pleasure. And um, this is what Vritta Sura, he's becoming greedy for this pleasure. He's hankering for this pleasure. <clears throat> no one can escape th that. No one has and no one can escape that. But if we, if we aim transcendence, if we aim eternity, if we aim eternity, what comes as a, say, free package along with it is eternal pleasure, real pleasure, not temporary, no. If I just aim eternity. So if I can, it's very difficult to comprehend that as such I'm eternal. It is somewhat logically, mentally, I can somehow say, understand, work out, I'm not this body. Huh? I'm not this mind as well, say, I'm not this intelligence as well, I'm not this uh, identity and all. But to really contemplate, comprehend that uh, actually I'm an eternal living entity, a spiritual being, having a spiritual body. And for that, one has to cry out, one has to take shelter of Srimad Bhagavatam, take shelter of devotees, of pure devotees of Krishna. That is our real opulence. That is our real uh, purpose, say, existence in life. Yeah. We understand, devotees tell us what. Devotees help us understand. We are as old as Krishna. Hmm. Also, if I can say, I am as old as Krishna. We should all maybe take this as a mantra. I am as old as Krishna. Hmm. 